In this first video covering WP types and custom post types with WordPress, we're going to cover downloading and installing the plugin suite. Using the instructions in the button above this video, you should have already purchased a license for the WP types toolkit. Once you've done so, you can log into your account, and the first thing that we're going to do is click on the downloads link. From the download screen, the only plugin that you need to download from here is the main plugin, which is tool set types. So click on the download button and then leave this page open because we're gonna need this in a second. So head back to your website, hover over plugins and click on add new, and then click on upload plugin. And then we can either choose file here and select the file off our computer or we can drag and drop it, which is what I will do right now. and then click on install now and after this plugin is uploaded it'll give you an option to activate it which we're gonna do now that our plugin is uploaded we're going to click on the activate plugin button and then we're going to click on the link here that says register under tool set types click on register and then scroll down a little bit and click on register tool set now the next thing we need to do is copy our website's URL so this is everything before slash WP admin just copy this URL and then go back to your account screen click on your account name in the top right and click on my sites and then we're going to click on add new site and we're going to paste the URL into here and click on add now, depending on the license you have, you may have only one site license or you have, may have unlimited licenses, and that's why we need to essentially add the site that we want in the toolkit, and then we're going to grab a key and we're going to paste that in, and that's how they track what sites you're using the WP Types plugin toolkit on. So even if you have unlimited sites, we need to do this, right? So now we have our URL here. We're going to click on Show Key and just copy and paste that or copy it from this screen, click on your, uh, go back to your WordPress dashboard, and then paste it right into here where it says site key and click on OK. And now, now that our plugin suite is registered, we're gonna be able to actually install the rest of the plugins from here, which is why I said we only need to download the types plugin. Uh, so for our examples, we're gonna need a few of these. So I'm going to install views. So toolset types is the plugin that we use to create custom post types and custom fields for our post types. Toolset views is how we control how they're displayed on the front end. Toolset maps is Google Maps integration. So if you're doing anything with locations or addresses, you'll want Google Map or toolset maps. Toolset layouts is for front end layouts, but we're gonna be using page builders and I will talk about that in our front end section. So that's not something we're gonna need for the moment. Toolset cred is for front end user submission. So if you're gonna have your users submitting content to your site using forms that we're going to build, you're going to need toolset cred. And toolset accent access is for permissions for how different things work and who can do what and stuff like that. So we're gonna need that as well. Uh, if you want to create views with WooCommerce products, you can uh, also install this toolset WooCommerce views, and we can also do toolset CredCommerce if you're gonna be having a user interaction with your products as well. But those are specific situations, but generally we need types, views, cred, and access, and optionally toolset maps. So click on the plugins that you're going to need, and then select this button, activate after download, and click on the download button and that's going to automatically grab the latest versions of these plugins. It's going to install them and activate them on your site, and then we should be pretty set to go. All right, so now our plugins are installed and activated. You can see on the left-hand side, we have a new tool set menu item, and right on this screen is where we're going to pick it up in the next video.